Hi everyone, it's Marcy Masura, and I am sitting in a baseball dugout. I know, I'm surprised too, but it's not just any baseball dugout. This is Dodger Stadium, and next to me I have my, my new BFF. This is Mark. He is Dodger Stadium historian, correct? And um, the first question I have, which I don't know if anybody asked you this, but are there any secrets or myths about Dodger Stadium? Anybody buried in the field or... No, nobody officially buried, uh, but the, the not yet. Am no, I a candidate? No, we're, we're hoping opposing teams. You know that's. Ah, right. but uh, that's a and, good and many answer. times too. You know, uh, teams from the past. As far as the joke is, as far as if you're uh, so close to a pennant and suddenly you blow it, like in 1962 or 1991, you have those. You know, the memories linger, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes you're haunted by that. And other times, people that work here on like the graveyard shift mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. You know, just imagine a 56,000 seat stadium. And you hear a sound or something, and you just, you never know what Balls, it could be. Balls, like, cracking out exactly. to left field. Exactly. Exciting. It's kind of neat. So can you tell me about your first visit to Dodger Stadium? Do you remember it? Oh, of course. I was uh, seven years old, and it was July of 1972. And I was in the box seats, uh, aisle 44. He remembers I, the aisle. I, I, do you have the ticket? Like, oh, how do you remember? Ticket. Oh, no, okay. I, I was going to say, that's good memory for I a seven-year-old. I have the ticket. I have the program. And it was just something, I mean... The very first time I came here, I knew what a special place it was, and I think my parents were just looking for something for me to do, you know. And uh, you're one of those kids, really. I'm told that I looked at uh, the next person as far as who was scoring a game, and that interested me. And they thought that was kind of strange for a seven-year-old yeah. to be interested in that. And uh, I've always enjoyed coming to the ballpark, no matter. Uh, I never could play baseball as a kid. <laughs> that yeah, I think that okay. helped as me far neither. as. Me yeah. <laughs> uh, But the atmosphere. I've never had a day, uh, either as a fan or a reporter or working for the team, never had a day where I didn't look forward to going to the stadium. Yeah, and I, I agree. I mean, I have a thing for baseball stadiums. I think they're just sort of happy places, um, except for the losing team. But I think in general, you know, the excitement level is up. And, um, you know, even being here at Dodger Stadium, where it's completely empty except for us and some groundskeeper, People, it's very, it's just a happy, happy place. So there you have it, Marcy, doing sports of all things. I know, it's amazing. See ya. And he was walking past this photo, and everybody else looks at it like the Mona Lisa. And he looked at it, and he sort of, he goes, foul ball. Oh, yeah? <laughs> like, why would you hang that? <laughs> everybody